Good morning, beautiful. And welcome to my first ever video love letter. Um, I felt like it was just time to spice things up and here we are. Um, so today I wanna to talk about the three little words that spark a very quiet and very powerful revolution. And those words are, I love you. How good does that feel to hear? And how good does it feel to say? There's so much power held in those little words. And, you know, so often we get caught up in how fast do I say it? Is it too soon? Was it too late? Um, what if they don't say it back? And I think you need to swish all of that away and get clear on one thing and one thing alone, that the first person you have to say those words to every day in great quantities with massive intention is yourself the first person you absolutely have to turn that love towards is you. And when you start to cultivate that powerful love of self, everything else around you changes. So that's the first place to start with I love you. But the next place is that, as I said, we get so focused on, you know, am I gonna say it too soon? Are they going to say it back? Did I wait too long? You know what? Does it matter? I really believe that when you feel something, you speak it. You know, that's a part of living in true alignment with who you are and how you feel is that you speak what's on your mind in, or in a gracious and compassionate way. Um, and I really think that starting with I love you and having the freedom to just send that out into the world without fear of judgment, without, you know, the fear of lack of reciprocity. Just to say it as you feel it is a really powerful place to be. You know, the world has its fair share of stuff going on. The world has always had its fair share of stuff happening and I think will always continue to have it. You know, things not going perfectly well. And I really believe that all of it, all of it boils down to love. Um, you know, who has it? Who feels like they have it? Who feels like they have enough and who feels like they really don't have enough? I really believe that when, that love is the permeating energy and we make decisions based on our perceptions of whether or not we have enough love in us, um, or not. And I think that if you start to notice those little, if you use that as an operating system in your life, you'll start to pick up on that from other people that, you know, he responded in a certain way because maybe he doesn't feel like he's safe in love. You know, she reacted in a totally different way because maybe she doesn't feel like there's enough love for her. And that's a super reductionist way of looking at it. Um, but I want you to take that into your life this week and expand on that. Um, you know, when people are, I'm going to get like super wooey for you. When people are vibrating at a frequency of love, there's not a lot of room to, um, judge people unfairly. There's not a lot of room to react with anger. There's not a lot of room to hang on to old wounds from the past and, you know, live in a place of fear. There's only room to love and celebrate each other. And when we love and celebrate each other, we really do act from a place of compassion. And that's why I mean this simple, simple sentence carries so much weight with it because when you are able to consciously live in love with yourself and able to consciously live with love for those around you, I just don't think we can fail. So hold that in your heart today and know that I love you. I'm so grateful that you're here. I hope you like the new format of content. We'll play with it a little bit and, um, you know, see how it goes. Um, but the take home message today is that you can start a revolution in your inner world, which will start this ripple effect of revolution in your outer world. And my love, it all starts with, I love you. Have an amazing day. Bye.